Taylor Alanis. Pat Simon is on special assignment. We have continuing coverage of Corpus Christi City Council's decision to pass on a first reading of the creation of the Military Compatibility Area Overlay Districts or MCAOD around Navy airfields. On this area of Flower Bluff, it falls into one of those districts. Many are wondering what happens to my property if I'm in one of those accident potential zones. Our Ron Hammy sat down with Development Services to get more clarity on what the future may hold. If you're worried about being forced to change your property or anything of the sort, let me reassure you. Development Services says nothing will change for those that live in an accident potential zone. It, this basically ensures that there's compatible development around these installations today, tomorrow, and really on into the future. Director of Development Services Al Raymond says the focus of the MCAOD is on future development. There are 3,500 properties impacted by this, but eyes are on the undeveloped plots, like the ones around Waldron Field. 117 are vacant, which means those are the ones we're worried which direction could they develop. Raymond and Andrew Demas of Development Services say the Navy is willing to live with what's already built and in accident potential zones. That includes the new Mary Carroll High School. But the city is giving property owners a chance to make a change to be in compliance with the new code if they choose. If they feel by chance that they may have lost an opportunity of some development they wish to have, you know, their, their dream, which we, we want to encourage. Uh, we have a time period of six months in which they can apply for a free of charge rezoning. The city has taken these steps to protect a city asset, the Navy. According to the governor's office, having the base here provides over $4 billion to the economy each year. Raymond says it's important to have the MCAOD in place because growth will continue to happen, but also the Navy's overlay districts could change because they are looked at every 10 years. No one gets out of this unscathed, meaning that some people are going to be unhappy, some people are going to be really happy, uh, but really the decision really is for the greater good, our, our community overall. So. Again, City Council will vote on this ordinance after its second reading this coming Tuesday, where it is expected to pass. Reporting in Flower Bluff, Iran Hammy, Chris 6 News.